don't wear beige, it might kill you. Hello, I'm Sue Kreitzman. I am an artist, I am a curator, and I am a color maniac. Yeah. We're in the uh, entranceway of my very colorful flat. This is where I live, this is where I work, this is where I immerse myself in color. And there's a lot of art in here. There's so much art that I really don't have room to cook. I am what is known as an outsider artist, way outside of the mainstream, and also I am an untutored artist. I work by instinct, and I make up my techniques as I go along. And the one thing that is very, very important in my art is color. I always love color, always love color. From the moment I can remember I needed color, I grew up in a fairly beige house, but color was always in my mind, in my imagination, in my brain. And the older I get, the more I can indulge it. Red's my favorite color, and it always has been since I was a little kid. Red is the color of life, red is the color of love. Red makes me happy. If I'm in a beige room, or a magnolia room, God help us. It leeches all the life out of you. It, it makes me feel old. But when I'm surrounded by all this vibrant, fabulous color, I'm ageless. Splash color everywhere. Be bold. It should clash. Don't have, you know, people say to me, you need to have a quiet wall or a quiet place to rest your eyes. Why? Why would I want to do that? My bedroom is full of the same colors, it's full of art, it's full of stuff. With color and with life in general, there's absolutely no need to follow the rules. You know, I grew up with so many rules. Don't wear white after Labor Day. Don't wear black if you're young. I do wear black, but only because it makes your clothes, your colors pop. Don't do this, don't do that. Nonsense, do what you want, do it in a colorful way. Don't follow somebody else's rules. Be the person you want to be. If it doesn't have to match, it's better if it doesn't match. Make it bright, make it happy, make it profound.